Hey guys, this is your Trusted Weather Forecast, and today we'll be talking about the next upcoming severe weather outbreaks that may be happening within the next week or so. And before I get into this video, I'd like to say about 80 to 90 percent of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like weather related content, and don't forget to hit the bell if you don't want to miss an upload. Let's get right into it. You can see different colors on the map, I'll explain them. Uh, this is Monday. This next coming Monday, in about four to five days, uh, right after this weekend, Monday, Sunday into Monday, I should say, uh, the red, you have a lower chance for severe weather, and the dark red, you have a higher chance. Uh, so basically, uh, if you're in any of these colors, you do have a chance to see severe weather, and some of the gray regions could also see some severe weather, uh, but those will be much more scarcely isolated incidents. Uh, but I'm mainly focusing on the red and dark red regions. And uh, the best chance for severe weather Monday will be uh, through Texas, parts of Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and the Panhandle of Florida. This is bad because uh, we just had those two gigantic Mississippi tornadoes that have preliminary, preliminary ratings of EF4 and EF3. Uh, it did cause a lot of damage, and I'm pretty sure there's 30-plus fatalities. Um, so you guys could get nailed again by the storm. And it's even after this, it's not going to be the end of it, unfortunately. But in the red region, spreading as far north as Missouri, and as far south as northern Florida, and as far east as skimming South Carolina there. Or you have a lower chance for severe weather, but you still have a chance, so always be prepared. The next incident will be exactly one week from uploading this video, roughly. Dates can change if the storm slows or picks up speed, uh, but this will be roughly Wednesday of next week, exactly seven days from now. You can see there's a much more widespread dark red, which is the higher chance spreading through much of Texas, almost all of Louisiana, southeast Arkansas, uh, much of Mississippi, parts of Alabama, and the panhandle of Florida, and also a small part of Georgia where you have that higher chance for severe weather. And again, the areas that got hit uh, <coughs> a couple of days ago with the big tornadoes not only get hit Monday, but also get hit again Wednesday if the storm uh, goes correctly with the current models. Uh, but then the red, the red region goes as far south as Florida and as far north as Wisconsin, Iowa, uh, and even portions of Colorado could be included in that. Uh, Note that this is a lower chance, so not everybody in these red regions will get it, and there will be some other isolated instances of severe weather in the gray regions. Um, but not everybody will get severe weather in the red regions. That just means you have a chance, but a lower chance for severe weather. Uh, main threats in the northern parts in the Midwest area will be hail, damaging winds, maybe tornadoes. Uh, but in the Gulf, the main threats will be all three hazards. <coughs> Now let's get right into the models. Okay, this is the latest run, 12Z, Wednesday, surface base cape. I'm going to quickly run through this for you. Uh, you can see Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, you can see some uh, potentially severe storms kicking up in southern Texas with cape values up to 2,000. <coughs> and moving on into Monday, uh, or... Uh, early Sunday afternoon. It, this all depends on timing, by the way. Uh, you can see Cape Valley's up to 3,000, maybe even higher, especially for portions of Texas and Louisiana. Uh, if we look at soundings for parts of Texas, it is showing severe. Uh, again, this storm uh, on the western side of it, which is Texas, are not expected to get like top-notch severe storms. Uh, it's mainly more east where that will happen. Uh, if I select part of Mississippi, there is the tornado threat uh, with hail and supercell with a significant hail parameter going through three with 3,358 surface base cape. Um, so it's more of a tornado threat east and west is more just a damaging wind and hail threat. Uh, but you could still get tornadoes, definitely. And then it sort of dies down moving into Monday. Uh, but there could still be some isolated incidents. Things can change. And this is where uh, Tuesday into Wednesday comes in, where you have portions of Texas getting cape up to 1,500, maybe 2,000. Um, 
again, uh, west and north aren't expected to get the tornado threat, uh, but it's still definitely possible. And parts of Iowa, Nebraska are also in this with marginal severe, uh, which is why I highlighted them in lower chance. It pushes uh, east and does c- it's kind of strengthen as it goes into Texas with Cape Valley's up to 3,000 in some areas. But this storm mainly kicks up speed uh, around Wednesday, mainly towards the Gulf, Louisiana, and southern Texas, where it does show a tornado threat. And there may even be potential for a PDS tornado. So we will have to watch that very closely because we do not want another incident like the one in Mississippi that I tracked, which I was completely mind boggled by. Uh, but you do see some other isolated severe instances and, and something weird here. Uh, next, next Wednesday, I'm pretty sure, uh, April 29th. You do the Midwest does have a potential to see some sort of severe weather. Uh, now, note this is still pretty far out, but from soundings, it does look like it's going to be a pretty big event if it does hold together. So I'm not going to really comment much on that since it's still kind of far out. That's your trusted weather forecast for this upcoming next severe weather outbreaks. Please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.